In Jerusalem, just past the Sheep Gate, there was a mysterious pool called Bethesda. Legend had it that once in a great while, an angel would come to stir the waters of the pool and the first person to step in would be healed from whatever they suffered. It was why many sick and crippled people filled the area. But on this particular Sabbath day, Jesus stopped at Bethesda on his way through Jerusalem. In the large crowd of sick and suffering people, there was a certain crippled man. He had been disabled for much of his entire life, and although he dreamed of the day he would step into the waters and be healed, he knew he didn't have much of a chance. He had always been alone and without help, and there was no reason to believe that this would ever change. So can you imagine the shock when Jesus approached him? Do you want to be healed? He asked the suffering man. The man answered, I cannot be helped. There is no one to take me to the pool when it is stirred, and I cannot get there myself. The event was attracting the curiosity of onlookers, wondering what Jesus was doing, and the criticism of religious leaders, waiting for some reason to hate him even more. But Jesus paid no mind to the surrounding crowd. He said to the man, get up, take your mat, and walk. And at once, the man was healed, and he picked up his mat and walked. When the religious leaders saw the man walking around with his bed, they spoke to him. It's the Sabbath. Who told you to pick up your bed and walk? But the man did not know the name of his healer. Later that day, Jesus found the healed man in the temple, and it was then that he revealed himself. He was Jesus, the one who had delivered him from a life of disease and suffering. Jesus said to him, You have been made well. Sin no more that nothing worse will ever happen to you. The man now knew who his Savior was and that he was healed. He was forgiven and he was given the opportunity of a brand new life.